Watch the magic of Christmas season unfold as the Corpus Christi Concert Ballet Dance Company conveys the tale of Clara and her toy nutcracker coming to life. Celebrate this wonderful traditional holiday event at the Salina Auditorium on Saturday, December 21st at 7 p.m. or enjoy a matinee on Sunday, December 22nd at 2 p.m. Tickets on sale now at the Salina box office and at your local selected HEB stores. Now, um, Mr. Clower couldn't be here today, but we're going to bring him on here pretty quick before the Nutcracker That's comes. That's good. Yes, and tell us a little bit about uh, uh, Tom Clower. Tom Clower grew up in uh, East Texas, and he studied in Dallas with some very famous teachers. George Scabine was one of his teachers. And when uh, that, uh, that company, Ballet Dallas, was taken over by Tom, who was one of the dancers there. And Tom has uh, worked all over the United States in different sections, setting ballet pieces that uh, he worked with Mr. Scabine on and some of his original works. And then he has started working with Tanzoma, which is dance in Austria for six weeks every summer. And he works with the Glenda Brown Choreography Project. They're out of Houston, and they go and set up the venues where we perform. This is our fifth year to go to Austria. I take dances every other summer. And this is an eye-opener for them. They are totally on their own, and they have to be sure that they make every rehearsal that is called and we take usually three pieces and perform them. My name is Tom Clower. I am um, a former dancer, but currently I'm a, a, what's called a master teacher. I started dancing when I was six years old, and I'm from East Texas, and so we started commuting to Dallas, and by the time I was nine, I was working with um, the Dallas Civic Ballet, which later became Dallas Ballet, the professional company, which later became Ballet Dallas, the professional company, of which I was the director. I studied in Europe. I studied at the School of American Ballet in New York. Um, I've been, um, I started teaching very early. Uh, the way our, our studio was set up, the um, young men were taught by teenagers. The teenagers were taught by the, the company members, and then the company members were taught by the professionals. And so as I moved up from a little kid to a teenager, I started teaching the little kids. When I became a professional, I started teaching all of them, and then later on then. I, so I was teaching really, really before I was actually even a professional dancer. I'm celebrating 40 years of teaching next year. So we go to Austria. Austria. We're, I'm, um, I work with a company called Young Tonsummer. And Young Tonsummer, uh, Young Tonsummer, uh, Tonsummer means dance in the summer. And Tonsummer, Big Tonsummer, is a presenting organization out of Innsbruck. And basically what we are is an educational outreach arm of that situation. We take, um, our company takes five civic companies like Corpus Christi Concert Ballet twice. So every year we take 10 companies and we go over there and they're on there. It's a 12-day uh, tour and they perform over the 12 days in five different cities. Um, up to seven to nine performances and 10,000 people. So it's a really good experience for these kids. Um, being in the arts in America and especially Texas for my entire life, um, getting an audience is difficult. And you know, you can depend on your mom and your grandma to be there, but um, for some reason we don't teach culture. And so we're gonna lose the culture. But over there, the people love it. They stand up, they stomp their feet. Our shows are sold out a year in advance. So it's, it's a really, um, it's a great situation. Nancy's taken her company five, this will be her fifth time when we go back next year. So it's, it's a good opportunity and um, the kids not only get to perform for the people I'm talking about, but they get to be exposed to different cultures of the world. And we've made sure that um, that every place that we go on the tour, they get um, an educational aspect to it. They get information about the city or, or the place that we are, and they get a walking tour in all the places. So they, they're really getting um, a broad spectrum of our, um, our sister country in Austria. The, um, the reality is when I was very young, I was invited to come here with two of the principal dancers at Dallas Ballet. I was 19 years old the first time I came here, and we were doing Coppelia. 
and um, Ann Burton Avery, who was the, at one time the lead dancer at um, Atlanta Ballet, was working with our company in Dallas, and Kurt Hathaway were coming here, and I came down as the lead mazurka boy, which is sort of third string backup lead dancer. Um, so my first experience with Miss Sulik and her organization was in uh, 1979. Um, after that, she brought me back a couple of times later on as a guest artist. And then after that, when I became the director of Ballet Dallas, on a number of occasions, she had me come and um, bring my company. And we did company, we in, instigated the Civic Company, Corpus Christi Concert Ballet, with Ballet Dallas. And we, we did a number of years of performances like that. Um, over the years, this is, this is the seventh year that they've done uh, my production of Nutcracker. My production, my production of Nutcracker is actually Mr. Scabine's. Mr. George Scabine was my director, and it's, um, it's his that I've inherited. I'm the administrator of his estate, and so I go around and, and stage his works all over the world. And um, Concert Ballet has been doing, this is, like I said, the seventh year that we've done that. They also do Mr. Scabine's Firebird that I've brought here. Um, they've done My Alice in Wonderland, we've done Cinderella here, they've done numerous pieces of concert works, 15 to 20 minute pieces, um, not only on the local stage here, but also in Austria. We've taken, they've danced my, my works over there. Um, the Nutcracker, of course, is a, an annual event. It's uh, a situation where um, we, we, all of the kids in the school, all of the kids in the community are able to perform on the same stage with professionals. We, Mrs. Sulik's um, idea is that, um, that we present guest artists because it's a very helpful tool for our kids to see, like for example, today we've been working with dancers, um, men dancers that we brought in to prepare for Nutcracker. They're just a little bit older than the kids that are actually working with them. And so they, they get the, the opportunity to witness what it's like to be a professional dancer. And then we bring in the stars from, um, from Florida that work with us as the Sugar Plum Fairy and, um, and the Cavalier, and they get to see what it really is like. You know, Lots of companies, um, let their kids do the, the roles, and the, that, this is just a different concept, you know. Mrs. Sulik has a heart for education that is beyond any that I've, I've come across. I tour the world. I'm in a different place every Monday. Every Monday, I'm in a different location working with a different company, and Mrs. Sulik, I come here over and over and over because of her heart for education, not only for the kids that we're educating in this room, but for the people that are out there in the community, that she wants them to have culture. You know, not taking away from their own culture, because there's a, a huge dichotomy of cultures here in this town, but also, um, you know, exposing them to dance and music and singing and theater. She's, she just really believes in that, and, and, it, and as do I. And so that's one of the reasons that I come back over and over and over. She asked me back because we really see eye to eye on, um, on, re on outreach and, you know, and reaching out to the public and making sure that, um, that the next generation is prepared. You know, it's, it's so important. And it, the thing that the arts do for kids, okay, basically kids, because once they get to teenagers and above that, it's too late. You know, but the arts make them think. They make them create. Um, you and I, when we were kids, went out in the yard and we made believe that we were whatever we were, pirates or cowboys or whatever we were that day. Every day, that's what we did. We went out and we made our minds work. And now the kids can type. And that's all they can do is they sit, they don't even turn their heads. They just sit and type and look up things on the internet. They're, they're exposed to a lot. You know, the internet is exposing them to a lot of things, good and bad, but they're not creating. And the arts really force the kids to, to well, these kids that I've worked with this weekend, the little ones yesterday, some of them had to be toys that come to life, you know, and they have to build that character. Some of them are mice, you know, that are around, you know, chasing Clara, soldiers. We have, today we had snowflakes in here, you know, and, um, and the weather was perfect for it because it, it's really cold here today. But, um, you know, it's, it's really, it's important. And when I see them, them being uh, the people that make the decisions, cutting the arts out of schools, you know, and um, unfortunately, the arts seem to go first so we can spend more money on the, on the, um, the sports. And the sports are great. 
I'm all about the sports, but there needs to be a balance. There has to be a balance, and the balance, and I don't know anything about the Corpus Christi concert, I mean, uh, Corpus Christi School District. I'm not specifically talking, I'm talking about in general. Just in general, the, um, the arts are, are stepchildren, you know, pushed aside, and um, they're the first ones, you know, cut out. So that's a shame. So we're working hard to make sure we're trying to fill in the gaps. Everyone needs to come see it. This year, um, we are, we're at Selena Auditorium. We're the weekend just prior to Christmas. So it'd be, everyone's coming in. Every, your family's coming back from wherever. And it'd be a great opportunity to, um, to celebrate Christmas all together. Watch the magic of Christmas season unfold as the Corpus Christi Concert Ballet Dance Company conveys the tale of Clara and her toy Nutcracker coming to life. Celebrate this wonderful traditional holiday event at the Salina Auditorium on Saturday, December 21st at 7 p.m. or enjoy a matinee on Sunday, December 22nd at 2 p.m. Tickets on sale now at the Salina box office and at your local selected HEB stores. <laughs>